Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed, because if you haven't, um, I'll pay you a visit. Oink, oink. <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here. Still the voice of hardcore boxing. Right, have a look, that's a bit better isn't it? Uh, I couldn't get in this seven years ago, couldn't get in it. Get it now. I didn't need to buy that uh, coat I've just bought this morning. And I've got this one, so I might cancel that now. We'll see. I'm going through uh, a phase in my head where uh, I think I'm in World War II. What do you think to that? Am I going crackers? I just like the clothing from World War II that they, they used to wear, especially the armed forces. But each to their own, innit? So, each to their own. I saw that mail out later. Put that there. Right, straight into business, no messing about. Uh, Daniel DeBar against Joe Joyce. Is it pay per view? Yeah, pay per view. In the current climate of pay per view, it's pay per view. No ifs, no buts. It is pay per view. We can hang this up. I think I can hang it up. I'll just stand it there for the time being. Put it there. Uh, I, I, I think it's pay-per-view. Some people can say, Porky, you're a hater, you're jealous, it's not pay-per-view. Was Groves against De Gale? Well, that pay-per-view, Groves De Gale. I can't remember. I can't remember if that was pay-per-view or not. I can't remember. What I do remember though is, what I do remember is they were a decent fight and there were a lot of bad blood. Now, Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce, they're not the type of people to start flipping tables over and acting the goat, are they? They're the proper men's men, aren't they? So, I saw the push, I saw Daniel give a bit of a push. And I think it's a good fight, and I think it's a pick em fight. Now, Joe Joyce is knocking on a bit now, isn't he? What is he, 10, 12 year older than him? Is it 22 year old versus a 35 year old, is it? Something like that. They're both undefeated fighters. They both can whack. So, I think it's a good fight. I think, in fact, I think it's a great fight. It's not a good fight. It's a great fight. No ifs, no buts. It's a great fight. And people need to get behind it. Uh, I'll be tuning in. Will I be paying my 25 quid? If I have to do, yeah. I can get it on my telly for free. I'm going to do it, but it's a great fight and I support it. Now, people are going to say, oh, Porky! You're hating on Eddie Hearn. You always pick out Eddie's pay-per-view fights, but not Frank. Porky, hate you. Look, this is how I look at it, right? Frank Warren's not throwing pay-per-view fights out willy-nilly, willy-nilly, is he? He's not putting on YouTubers. He's not whoring himself to Saudi. Whores. They are whores. Going out there, and throw people off buildings out there and behead you. If you go in the shop and you nick a snicker bar, they cut your fingers off. But it's okay. We'll take the Saudi money. This is probably why they're dragging Joshua Pulef out so they can get somebody to put the money up for Joshua. But if they come back to England with Joshua, it'll be the homecoming. Homecoming? He's, he said they were going to fight here all the time. Look. 
These people are motivated by money. They've got a narrative. Do you know what I mean? They've got a narrative. Right. They say one thing and then week after they can do another. Because the rules of boxing allow you to manipulate manipulate the system. Manipulate your money. And I'm here just to guide you through choppy waters and say, that's a bad fight that. That's a good fight. That's pay-per-view. That ain't pay-per-view. So let's look at the facts. Let's look at the facts. On one hand, we've got Dillian White against Oscar Rivers. Dillian White's been knocked out. Oscar Rivers at the time were not knocked out. You've got, on the other hand, you've got Dillian White against Chisora. How many losses has he got? Nine losses. The point in Chisora versus Usek on pay-per-view. Pair of them are not even born in England. Usek's Russian, is he Ukrainian? Chisora's a Zimbabwe with nine losses. And it's Usek's second fight as a heavyweight. But it's pay-per-view. So if that's pay-per-view, Joe Joyce, Olympic gold, but he were robbed and ended up with a silver, against Dubois, who battered. I'm not just talking battered. I'm talking punched him upside down, smashed him to bits. He were knocking Joshua all over the place up here at the EIS, at the lottery funded EIS by the way. He were knocking Joshua all over the place, right, for months. So as far as I'm concerned, that's why Frank Warren nipped in and signed him and it's a great signing isn't it? It's a great signing. Now if they can get some belts online for this, whether it be British, Commonwealth, European, I don't know how they're going to work it, but this is how I look at it, right? This is a great fight. When was the last time we had a great British, all British fight like this? Dylan White, Joshua, yeah? Dave Allen Price? No, no. I don't think they were, don't think they were a British title on that, was that? Good fight though, but it didn't work out like that, did it? Look, Daniel Dubois will win a world title. Joe Joyce will win a world title. Their belts will get split up soon. But it's a great fight. But if Dillian White against Oscar Rivers, Dillian White against Parker, if that's pay per view, this is. I mean, WBA gold champion money, Joyce. The other kids got belts, and they're both undefeated, both big bangers. They're both from that side of the country. Why not? In the current criteria, look. In the current criteria, sorry, in my criteria, pay-per-view should be... Hey, do you know what, Russ? We can't miss this fight tonight. The great fight on. We can't miss it. That's why pay-per-view came out. It was one of them things where... We said, you know what, we just can't miss this. You know, like a Ricky Hatton against Mayweather. Frotch Groves. But not Eric Molina against Joshua or Brazil against Joshua or Oscar Rivers, Dillian White. No, no, no. No, no. I mean, what next? We're going to have Crawler come back. The comeback. We've already had Crawler the pension fight. Now we're going to have Crawler the comeback. I don't know. What next? Paul Smith against Andre Ward. Well, that's pay per view now. Point I'm trying to make is this Dubois against Joyce. I ain't got a problem with it being pay per view. I think it's a good fight. It's one that I'd pay to watch. I think it's a good fight. They're going to put it all online. You're going to get kids at the peak. You're not going to get them on slide. So I think Frank Warren's been backed into a corner and he's had to roll the dice. Can't keep protecting fighters now. Fans are getting fed up. You know, we're sick of being delayed on stuff. And look, we want to see the fight, don't we? I want to see the fight. I want to see it. So Dubois against Joe Joyce. Daniel Dubois, Joe Joyce, pay-per-view. Well done, Frank Warren. I'm giving it a thumbs up. And I think everybody who comments on this video will say, Do you know what, Russ? It's a good fight. It's got to be pay-per-view. Look, going back a couple of years, it won't be pay-per-view. But look at... Look at what is pay-per-view in the current climate. I mean, we keep having this argument, don't we, between K1 
casuals and hardcores. Casuals here, hardcores here, and we're having a to and fro, aren't we? This fight is pay per view. It's as simple as that. It is what it isn't. All right. So, so peace out. Keep on chucking. Keep supporting cricket. It's a great sport. All right. So, shout out to my sponsors. You know who you are. So, all right. So. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's grow this channel together because this is the Porky Movement.